words of Sri Aurobindo from the book The Mother, Part 2 Letters on the Mother by Our Lord, Chapter 6 Working of the Mother's Force, Page 162, New Topic, The Mother and the Action of the Healing Force. Question. I had an animated but friendly discussion with X about the action of the healing force. He was of the opinion that now that it has been brought down here, it is likely to operate in other parts of the world and that any Tom, Dick and Harry can wield it even if spiritually undeveloped. Is this true? Sri Aurobindo says, it may operate but not through every T, D and H, at first at least. Date, 3rd Feb, 1936. Question, I contended that the healing force will act only through the mother and others will be able to wield it if they are in some way open to or in conscious rapport with her and in physical contact with her. Nobody will be able to use it without fulfilling these conditions. What do you say? For the Sri Aurobindo says, at first it will be no doubt like that, if it is to be the true force. But when, once it is settled in the earth consciousness, a more general use of the supraphysical force for healing may become possible. It is not always necessary either that the rapport you speak of should be conscious. Ko, for instance, Warren was in rapport with the mother without knowing it. She told me of his getting something of the force and of the beginning of his work long before he was known to anyone. Of course, she did not know his name, but described him and his work in such a way that the identification was evident. Date. 3rd Feb 1936 Chapter 7 True Relation with the Mother Topic Special Relations with the Mother Sri Aurobindo says, It is certainly true that the Divine has no preferences or dislikes and is equal to all. But that does not prevent there being a special relationship with each. This relation, however, does not depend on the more or less identification of the union. The purer soul has an act easier access to the divine. The more developed nature has more lines on which to meet him. The identification creates a spiritual oneness. But there are other personal relations which are created by other causes. It is too complex for all relations to be determined by one cause. Yes, yogis whose progress does not depend on the personal intervention of the mother need have no personal relation with her, only the spiritual contact in distance. Some may have a special relation but that is due to special aspects of their sadhana. On the other hand, one may have a personal relation with the mother even though no progress has been made in the sadhana. There are all kinds of possibilities in this matter. There is such a relation with all of those who have come here with a psychic sufficiently developed to admit of the relation. In other cases, it is more a possibility than a thing realized. There are, roughly speaking, three parts of the being in manifestation which comes into play here. First, the psychic being in evolution which brings with it its past experience of past lives and something of the old personalities so much as it can make helpful for the present life. Second, the present formation due to this birth and made up of many complex factors. Third, the future being which in our case means the great lines of higher consciousness 
above the present manifestation by joining which the transformation becomes more possible and the work attempted can be done. It is the psychic being which brings in the contact through past lives or personalities that is through something essential and still operative in them which it has kept. But in addition, some psychic beings have come here who are ready to join with great lines of consciousness above, represented often by beings of the higher planes and are therefore specially fitted to join with the mother intimately in the great work that has to be done. These have all special relation with the mother which adds to the past one. As for the present formation, it may obviously have elements which, not being joined or met with the mother, may feel themselves strange to her. It is such an element which may feel standing in the way, but it is an exterior formation and does not belong to the past or the future evolution at any rate in its present figure. It may disappear or change. Date, 10th June, 1935.